Good evening. This is Ninja Zone of Color. I'm your host, D O T T L E Y. This is a solo podcast tonight due to the other ninjas are not here tonight. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, Bad Batch. Uh, we got toy news and probably finish it off with uh, the Knicks in that order. All right. I am your host, D O T T L E Y. Um, we are the Ninja Zone of the Color. We are available wherever you get your podcasts. Uh, please give us five stars. Give us four stars. Give us three stars. Which Rolanda doesn't like to nothing less than three, but I can take a two, even a one. If you don't give us a one, uh, we'll just assume that we're doing it correctly. Uh, right now, we're available on Spotify, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, Samsung Podcasts, Pandora. YouTube Music, Google Podcasts, up until April, uh, tune in. And we're still waiting for someone to give us an Apple ID, so it's going to be an Apple Podcast. You can contact us at ninjasofanothercolor at gmail.com, on Instagram, Facebook, uh, TikTok. You can support the podcast with Cash App or Zelle. It's available on our front page at uh, Spotify. Uh, today is... February 22nd uh, in Georgia, other spots. Uh, please go out and vote. Please don't forget to do your civic duty and vote. I uh, will be working the polls up until the 12th. And without further ado, let's get this party started. Darkness rules, fights the champion of light. Where hope seems lost, there rides the rebellion. Together they stand ready against the dark, evil warriors of the Horde and their leader, the terrible Horde. Armed with hope and ancient powers against the force of an intergalactic army. This is the story of one who will become leader of the Great Rebellion. Shira, Princess of Power, 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 Power. power. Uh, yes, that was. Shira, Princess of Power. That was the original. That's the one that started it all. Um, today, uh, let's start with, I guess, Toy News. Uh, why not? Let's talk with uh, Toy News. Uh, today, on on Big Bad Toy Store. I guess this bad boy was put up for pre-sale. Um, MDXL Skywarp. Um, I don't still it did Star Screen yet. I don't think it transforms. It's just a regular statue. And it is going for 119 bucks. 119. Uh, you probably get it in June or July. Um, what comes with it? It is, uh, say, eight inches tall, plastic and metal, uh, plastic and metal, highly detailed, fully articulated, four pair hands. Three face parts, two cannons, blaster weapons, and wings. Uh, they also have um, Sky Warp. You have Sky Warp, you have Thundercracker, what we reviewed on previous week, so it's 119. So also in 
also on this as for pre-order those who don't watch halo halo is on for a third season we have the master chief yeah master chief uh 464 fully articulated i like this show but not 464 bucks You know my thing. If it if it's 164, it it got to light up, and this one, I I don't think it does. So seven inches, die cast inner frame, exterior armor pieces. Yeah, from Halo, highly articulated. We have the Master Chief, interchangeable hands, soft rattles, a uh, soft rifle. Sorry, shotgun, brute, brute shot, and elite. Blood Blade Energy Sword, but the Energy Sword does not light up. We also have the Reach. Oh, sorry, the Noble One. 179 bucks, but again, it doesn't light up. He has, uh, he has the Blue Sword. It's just a Master Chief clone. You have four sets of hands, a gun, energy sword, probably a changeable, the, the visor changes. But again, it does not light up. So, yeah, it does light up. So, that is not one that I think I will get, but what one. IDW version of which is a model kit uh, bottomless prime eh, 44 bucks these would be better if they lit up or they had transformations but it doesn't he has three pairs of hands two blasters uh, it's a good price for 44 bucks but this is the one I think I will buy. You have these two. You have Destro, hundred bucks. Hundred and five if you wanted a piece of plastic. And the case lights up. I think it's a well, one battery. Yeah, I think those light up. Kobe should be case removal. If you just light up action, yeah, the case lights up. And then, yeah, he has that crazy ass face. Here's what comes with it. Neck with uh, family crest. Three head portraits. Also, in this one, you want to get snake eyes. I don't think snake eyes is... I don't think Snake Eyes lights up. But this is a good piece. Mesco does a lot of stuff. Again, 119 if you want it to come in a plastic bag. I think this one, whoever did the photography in this one did a very good job. Who doesn't love snake eyes? You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, uh, fourteen, or sixteen inch table hands. Damn, I can't read. It has a stand and have a waist poser. At least it's a big gun his waist. So look at all the weapons. This one doesn't light up, so. Uh, I like that, but also Big Bad is having a sale. Yep, having a sale. Um, whichever is your your vice. Let's go to Mattel, which is my thing. I don't do the minis, so they can keep the minis. Um, nope, don't like 
any of this. Any, 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 any. I, I have Strider already. I have Sunman. Lightyear. Don't do WWE. This looks kind of with 36 bucks. Mm, that's what. What time is 36? Huh. 11. No. Nine. I feel like nine bucks. Nine bucks per. I don't like how that one looks, but for seven bucks, what can go wrong? So that is uh, Toy News. Yes, in Toy News. Okay. Uh, before we go any further, we would like to thank. Well, I would like to thank, but also I think it comes from the ninjas that we would like to thank the people who are listening to us. So, right now, I would like to thank uh, Ashburn, Virginia. I think I should do a remote. So, whoever listens in Ashburn, Virginia, please send us an email so we can do our show from your area. Uh, also, San Jose, California. Yeah, write in. Let us know how you enjoy the show. Frankfurt, Germany. I would love to go to Germany to do a show. So whoever listens in Germany, please send us a line. Flowery Branch. Norcross. Paris, France. Yes. Whoever listens in Paris, France, please contact us at uh, ninjasrunnacolor at gmail.com. Let's hear, interact with you. Tell us what you like about the show. Also, in St. George's, Grenada, thank you for listening. Holly Afora, gracias. Glenn Allen, Texas, thank you very much. Somebody please tell me what this is. Bill Cordine, Cordine, France. Please drop us a line. Let us know what's happening. Uh, Charlotte, North Carolina, uh, thank you for listening. Fort Lauderdale, Florida, thank you for listening. Pompano Beach, thank you very much. Knoxville, thank you. Nashville, thank you. Smyrna, is that Smyrna, Tennessee, or Smyrna, Georgia? Either one, thank you. We have Kosovo, we have Pakistan, Nigeria, thank you. Mexico and Cancun, you're on your vacation, you listen to us, I appreciate that. St. Lucia, Snailville, Waldorf, Chattanooga, Columbia, La Fanette, that's in Tennessee, Mount Juliet, Marshfree, Springfield, Illinois, thank you so much, Phoenix, Arizona, and Kingston, Canada. We all do appreciate you listening to our crazy podcast, what we do every week. Also, listen to uh, the Common Sense Party Pod with myself, where we go over... Um, political stuff and this is a year of the vote please listen listen to that podcast if you want common sense uh, information also we have the cartoon rewind podcast please listen to that that's also available on wherever you get your podcast spotify all the good thing all right it was all-star break and the season has started and the knicks played the 76ers and guess what the Knicks actually won without Julius Randle again so check it out we go of course now with that left hamstring tightness since the game at Golden State on the Buddy Heel trying to get loose on the baseline Buddy with 18 main threes in his first four games as a sixer the turnover there Brunson rattles in the first point just enough space to see how defenders at times can be bouncing off of a Brunson. His fellow All-Star Tyrese Maxey gets the scoring strategy for your Sixers. Hartenstein over to Brunson. He is the straw that stirs the drink now in New York. Spinning pass, Paulie dishing. Josh Hart from outside, and Hart drills the three. Tom Thibodeau, as we know, likes to turn the screw on defense. And really a reflection of their coach now. Brunson trying to step around his defender. Instead, just goes up and over Paulie. Harris, catch and shoot, off the mark on 
that three. Five straight misses now for the Sixers, and Achua slams it down off the dish from Josh Hart. Harris coming over to double. Down. Good ball movement to the final mix. Achua rattles in the three. Third triple already tonight for the Knicks. And it just looks like they're playing at a slightly different speed. Good seal there by Tobias Harris. Buddy from outside. Buddy Buckets strains a three. Maxi takes the three, looking for a little space, can't find any. Here's Kyle Lowry around. Oh, and down he goes. Kyle Lowry with the reverse for his first point. Well, it's just remarkable. Like, obviously, he's better than he was in Dallas. Oh, but man, I didn't think he'd be this good as Kelly responds with the lefty layup. He's been very happy to come here to New York as well. Obviously, he was coached by Nick Nurse up in Toronto. Hart. Nicely done. That's plenty of defense there. Don't fall for that face. Nice pass to Bamba, who has it knocked away by Ochua. Perhaps a reach by Ochua. Hart right to the cup. Nobody stepped in front. 21 12. Three and a half to go in this first quarter. Elevator doesn't quite make it to the penthouse. Maxi counts in the foul for Tyrese Maxi. Pretty hectic first quarter so far. Crowd is into it. Oh, there he Around and no, but Jericho Sims there for the emphatic putback. A year, year and a half ago, but he looks confident and fluid on that pull up. Largest lead for the Knicks tonight, 28 15. Kelly gets it to go. Win on that season high nine game win streak. They're 33 and 22. They're in the four spot. Sixers in the five. Kyle Lowry high off the window. 8.1 to go. Shot clock is off. Brunson has it stolen. Kelly to beat the clock. And Oubre throws it down. The ability at times to get some shots creates the space. Still learning the game. Nice Kyle play. Lowry finding Harris on the backside cut. Not an easy Left it short. Lowry the hit ahead to Oubre. Tried to touch pass at the heel. Still gets there. Not as pretty as they might have wanted it to be, but it still counts all the same. Both teams 3-3 three three from the stripe so far tonight. Shot clock at 5. Lowry on the read screen. Kyle. No. Paul Reed there for the putback. Just like they drew it up. Touch pass from Hart to Burks. Back to Hart. Hart fading away. And Josh Hart is definitely one of the leading candidates to score with this five-seam. Tobias Harris confidently steps into a three and drills it. Bogdanovich showing off the handle. Backing down heels. And Bogdanovich has another bucket. Good job of not fouling. Make them make those tough shots. Don't bail them out. Maxi spinning and laying it up and in with the left hand. Movie. Turn the ball over. Need to start getting some stops and making some buckets. More disconnected basketball here from your Sixers. And Jalen Brunson Jaylen kisses Brunson. it off the window for two. The front court of the Knicks right now having a heck of a game. Eight for ten for 18 points and 11 rebounds. And Hart finally misses. That's what leaves Maxi some space to step right into that jump shot. Good find from Buddy. A good find from Brunson to a. Cutting precious at you. Lunar eclipse <laughs> or Haley's Comet. And another turnover. Di Vincenzo the dunk. Largest lead of the night for New York. 61-41. Donovich from the other side of the courts. And Nick Spain. Hart bounces it off the backboard. Wants to run once again. Four on three. Four on four now. Donovich finds some space. Five for five from three tonight. Step up on the defensive end as well in our last two quarters here tonight. Those will be the questions at half. Campaign. Flowing past his defender. Laying it up and in. Count it and the foul for Campaign. No MB. No D Anthony Melton. Do have Nico Batu back tonight. No Robert Covington yet for the Sixers. Tyree still sidestep fadeaway jumper. Atlantic division rivals. Brunson to his right and hits the floater. Everything oh. going their way now. 20 point lead. Maxi quick trigger from the corner. Tyrese doing everything he can to keep the Sixers in this one. Has it taken away, but he yield takes it right back. Maxi going right back to it. Tyrese up and under and down it goes. 24. 
again, not a lot of passing in that offensive exchange. The Sixers content with one or two passes in the shot. Brunson and no look. Precious the finish. He initiated the contact, and when Brunson reached, they didn't call that because it was Tobias who was being physical first. Oh, my. Jalen Brunson. People are getting excited for the chicken. Yeah, I saw always do. I might always need to do. pause for a second. Uh, but he also mentioned, he said, right now they're just playing harder than us. They're bigger than us. The crossover lost it. Saved by Heald on the baseline. Shot clock in single digits. Tyrese Maxey. Yes, sir. Supplying them with three point shooting. Randall not in the lineup. They need some scoring to come from somewhere. Lowry takes the three, drives, dishes, and Martin finishes. Well, and that assist to KJ Martin that we just showed you while they were coming up the floor, Kyle Lowry was directing traffic. Maxey with another. Your confidence is growing, and perhaps the Knicks diminishing a little bit. Bogdanovich. Tough shot. How does he do it? Waiting for him. Five to go. Lowry downhill. At the hole, and Kyle Lowry beats the buzzer. But I thought Ananobi was just starting to kind of gel with his new teammates. That's going to set him back a little. Great ball over. Bogdanovich. Maxi the rebound. Ahead to Oubre. Kelly. Yes, sir. But we'll see what happens, guys. I'll keep you updated. All right. Keep us posted, Taryn. Another offensive rebound from the Knicks. And the best chance to shoot another three. And good job of not fouling Brunson. No bailouts. Make him down the stretch. Have to make tough shots. Oubre with a little bit of space. Kelly lays it up and in. Five. Kelly face guarding Brunson, denying him the ball back. DiVincenzo, the great cut. Brunson, hitter pat. Achua there for the rebound, the putback, and he draws the foul. Some of it having to do with the tired legs, some of it with the Knicks defense. DiVincenzo for the win. Through the first three quarters tonight, but no points the last nine minutes. Oubre to the count. Just too strong. And Tyrese looking a, a little bit tired after spending so much effort in the third quarter, and Josh Hart holding the follow through effort to get back into a game. The Sixers were down 26. They played ahead of a third quarter, and now looking looking a little worse for the wear here in the fourth. We're not giving up yet. This one. Not Defense by McBride and actually didn't get enough on that pass. Deuce McBride with it up. A fight of who can fight off the fatigue the best tomorrow night. Here's Lowry. Kyle Lowry lays it up and in. While your Sixers fall to 32 and 23 on the year. 17 and 12 here at the Wells Fargo Center. As the Knicks improved to 2 0 against the Sixers on the season. That was the Sixers versus the Knicks. Um, I've been complaining about um, Sims not getting any run, but I have no idea if, if I think he's, he's good. But how good, I am not sure. Because I think he is a serviceable big because they're going to need him. Like I feel, they never should have traded um, Obi. Obi's a serviceable big and who knows what do i know i don't know anything okay uh moving on to our next topic the bad batch the bad batch yep the Bad Batch. The Bad Batch. The Bad Batch premiered, I guess, a couple of days ago. I didn't even remember. That's how 
far away it was. So, they re- released three episodes. Uh, we're going to see the best parts of all three right now. So, without further ado, episode one, The Bad Batch. Well, yeah, okay. Three, four, three to base. Do you copy? Like a prisoner. It will take time to adjust, but you will acclimate. It is far safer in here than out there. The samples are used for various research projects. All of us serve a purpose here. How come I never saw you on Camino? Because I was sent elsewhere. Until Dr. Hemlock took me under his wing. He- I never knew that I had a sister. It's nice not being alone. Your sample was taken. Emery said it was routine. Why are you discarding it? It is safer this way. Why did they bring me here? The Empire seeks the reproduction of a genetic m but the experiments on the specimens have yet to yield the desired result. You mean the clones? Not the clones. We'll make his presence here. We'll only strengthen your efforts. Shall we head to the vault? begin. LA-201 sustained injuries during the nightly patrol. If her wounds do not heal, the subject will be terminated. Put those teeth away and behave. It's not so bad. Forget the hound. Forget me. And complete the mission. If I get the chance to escape, I wouldn't think twice about leaving you behind. You're lying. You wouldn't do that. You're my brother. I'm not them. I'm not giving up, Crosshair. I won't let you either. Don't risk anything for me. I belong in here. None of us belong in here. Personal items are forbidden. I'll dispose of it. It is for your own good. The Emperor should be pleased to be accomplished a successful transfer. If we do not match or exceed the specimen's original count, it is a failure. I would hate to think you were intentionally delaying this advancement. LH-201 has been slated for termination. She's healed! The creature's recent domestic indisposition has been deemed a liability. <laughs> Gonna terminate her. Even our strongest lurker hounds struggle against what's beyond these walls. Your domestication of LH201 only made her vulnerable. Doctor, perhaps I should return Omega to her room. Don't hurt Crosshair. He didn't do anything. Actions always have consequences, sometimes not in the ways we imagine. Go away. Uh, yes, that was episode 
one of Bad Batch. A little slow, but yeah, it was good. Um, what do you guys think? Let us know. Hit us up either either on TikTok or Instagram or even Facebook. All right. Moving on to episode two. Episode two of the start of the final season of Bad Batch. Here we go. Your accomplices have been captured and told us everything. There is no need for further deception. You are guilty of conspiracy against this family. Syndicate has grown weak. The living of your is You're dismissed, um, Captain. You asked for the Pike who disgraced your family. It won't be traced back to you. We made sure of it. <sighs> Dr. Hemlock stole someone from us. We heard your syndicate had the connections needed to find the Imperial's base. One of our sources came across these coordinates linked to his laboratory. They've been verified. Take what you came for and go. The last time we stormed an Imperial base without backup, not all of us made it out. Omega's been waiting for us a long time, Wrecker. I'm not making her wait another day. That's Hemlock's lab. Another orbital bombardment. Omega, if she was here, we don't know if she was. We're clones, same as you. You don't look like clones. They must be 99s. We have to find her. She's part of our squad. Stick to the trail, follow our steps. They made us prisoners, took samples of our blood. Whatever they wanted, at least we escaped before they destroyed the facility. Don't fire! It gets hostile when you shoot! You mean it's not already hostile? No! Slow the vines. The Empire made it. It's some kind of experimental weapon until they lost control of it. Quite a place you got here. What do you want? We're looking for a young girl. Never saw a girl around the lab, but I know Hemlock. He was in charge. You're on your own. They need help, Mox. I'll go with them. How long has she been gone? Too long. But we're not giving up. I wish the other clones felt that way about us. You may be defective CTs, but at least you're loyal. Got the gear and the power. <laughs> What other experiments were going on in this place? Nothing good. They didn't exactly tell us what was going on. Look the alien. Those two clones seem different. They're risking their lives to find a member of their squad. I respect that. If we wait, and the Slithervines reach their ship, our chance to escape is gone. Mox! Mox! Zack! Help! We need help! Mox! Keep it steady! like Hemlock transferred his entire base of operations to another location. We've got a lot of space to cover. We'll drop you three off someplace safe. Where? An island. A good people there. Yeah, probably. Make your own path. Be something other than a soldier. Our mission is not over yet. Yep. Someone's gonna die. We don't know who it is, but someone will die. All right, that was episode two. Now we're going to move on to episode three, because episode two was faster. It was an homage to aliens with all the 
the planet that looks like a face sucker. So now we're going to move on to episode uh, three. Episode three. And here we go. Come along. There is much to do today. Why are there so many troopers around? The doctor will inform me if it's necessary. An unexpected guest is arriving shortly. The shuttle has left the orbital station. Yep, yeah, you can't destroy the blood now. If Emery tests your sample, you will be in danger. Is that why you've been destroying my samples? Retrieve my data pad and use it to escape. I have been most eager to see the progress you have made, Doctor. Project Necromancer. You found a weak point? Not exactly. I'm kinda improvising. Is that some kind of joke? Unlock this cell. What did you say? This clone thinks he outranks us. <laughs> Shuttles have been grounded, except the Empress. We have to steal it. It'll be too well guarded, even for me. These specimens are well guarded to ensure they remain viable for testing. There is nothing of greater importance to secure the future of this Empire. Whatever is needed to accomplish this goal, you will have it. Should go back to your room. You mean her cell? Spent most of my life confined on Camino. I won't be trapped here too. You're a clone like us, Emery. Help us. This is for your own good. There are many, even within our own ranks, who would consider much of your work an abomination, but they lack the vision that we possess. Your brilliance is a great asset to this empire, all in due time. Yes, of course you, Emperor. Omega and prisoner CT9904 are missing. Missing? An alarm was just triggered in the lurker kennels. What direction is the crash shuttle? The time for half measures is over. One must assume she had help. I have been right by your side. Did they teach you Plan 72? Tick had me memorize all the plans. Of course he did. Betcha? Stay close. Yep. You found the missing piece? It's Omega. Call them off. But sir, they're escaping. We need her alive. Now! A minor setback. I have the full resources of the Empire at my disposal. We will find her. That's horrible. She's not going back to Kaboom. But they'll have to destroy that ship first. Uh, yeah, that was the first three episodes of the Bad Batch. Um, I think it's a... If we give our cartoon rewind... Um, uh, rankings, that is a rewind. Yes, that is a absolute rewind. Um, yeah, please check out the cartoon rewind and... We will, we probably won't do this one, but we, we are able to do others. And another thing premiered that I didn't even notice, the Avatar. 
I guess it's live action. Uh, episode one. I guess is uh they dropped all of them at the same time. So let's check out the best parts of uh, the Avatar. For all our Avatar fans, this is it looks way better than the one M Night Shyamalan did. Get that to the Earth King. They're going to start a war. That means all eyes will be on the Earth Kingdom. All eyes but ours. Why are you doing this? This isn't about the airbenders. This is about one who lives among them. But the Avatar is yet to be revealed. Which is why we have to kill them all. For millennia, the four nations have lived in harmony. The one person with the ability to master all four elements and protect the delicate balance who may not be ready for the responsibility of becoming the Avatar. There may come a day when you wish you'd spent more time with your teachers. There's still a lot of work to be done before the air nomads from the other temples arrive. How many are coming? All of them. And we need the Avatar. Aang is powerful, but there's much he still needs to learn. He needs to know who he is. If we send him away before he learns these things, he could fail to be everything we need him to be. And he and the world might never recover from that. Always remember who you are, because I can't imagine a better person to have been given this power. Can't I just keep pretending I'm your friend? You will always be my friend. I like to play air ball and eat banana cakes and goof off with my friends. That's who I am. I don't want the responsibility. I'm scared of my power. I'm scared of being alone. Need to go up where things always make more sense. You may have prevailed on another night, but not when we have the power of the comic book. Keeping ourselves alive is our duty. I know that. Katara, soak later, paddle now. Finally. He's just a kid. We can't just leave him out here. My father has banished me until I find the Avatar, and that's exactly what I'll do. Perhaps it's time to consider that the throne isn't everything. It may not have been for you. He is an inventor. Long ago, the four nations lived together in harmony. Then everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. But when the world needed him most, he vanished, and so the Fire Nation marched and laid waste. Airbenders haven't been seen in generations. The Southern Air Temple was the first to fall. Because he had to go up fast. We all did. We're never really ready until we have to be. I had friends in the Fire Nation. 
Her skills have never been sharper. How about a nice cup of jasmine tea? There's a reason. I'm the only water pender left in the village. They've killed all the others. Saga just doesn't understand. I wasn't even really trying. That's good. Just have to let go. You are the Avatar. I knew he was hiding something. When the world needed the Avatar the most, he vanished. He ran and people died. But don't you see? He's the Avatar! And he lied to us about it. But there's more to being a leader than just catching fish. You have to give people something to live for. That's what the Avatar is. He's hope. I'm the one you're looking for. No one has ever fought for me before. I think you're the bravest person I've ever met. Let's go save that weird kid. Others believe that true stability in this world can only happen under our rule. So the drive to conquer is a drive for peace. Peace comes from respecting life. And the belief is that by capturing you, the Fire Nation can finally bring that about. Is that what you believe? I must leave. Yeah. There's yeah. no way you're getting me on that- But so we show those flame heads they can't just step all over us. It would be a huge burden for anyone. But you're not just anyone, eh? Always remember who you are. What's happening? You are my friend. You will always be my friend. It's only after we've lost something that we realize how much it means to us. How we'd do anything to get it back. I'm the Avatar, and this is just the beginning. Hmm. Again, wow, just wow. I think, yeah, I think he dropped all the episodes on all the episodes on Netflix, and I think that's a good watch. Good watch for those who. You need to watch um season one of the cartoon because it might not make sense for you. Stop dialing. I'm looking for something, that's why I am quiet, but once I get to it, I will possibly play it. Oh. 
hopefully I can get it done in the time that I am here. All right, there it is. In the cartoon, when he escaped, this was one of the best Avatar scenes I think there is. But that's just me, so check it out. TV show looks like it's going to be close enough to the um, cartoon. So it's a watch. It's a rewind for me again. If we're using the um, cartoon rewind, but for the next probably what three minutes, I'm going to show transformations, and we're going to show a little Green Lantern. So. Bear with me. This is just the filler time. Check it out. Bat. I said rotate the securing bolt counterclockwise, not clockwise. That's what I did. Oh, no, you didn't. Wait, didn't you tell me that the clocks on Thanagar move in the opposite direction to those on Earth? You sound like an old married couple. A meteor? Don't think so. I'm reading a life sign. A possible incursion? Only one way to find out. Oh, no. Oh. Take care of it. Not a good sign. have had some heavy ordnance to take out a G-Class cruiser. Just hope you survived, Cat. Found you. Can't we all just get along? That's all you have to say? Desperate, save, save us. us! Not this time. Good night. Oh. This kind of attention I don't need. Cap, where are you? Feel the power of my rage. Feel the power of my hate. Get it. 
Remember, the surface thought is only the initiator. The inner governing thought maintains the integrity through power of will. This is key when multitasking, especially if you're in space. <clears throat> If that's what it takes, I can still pull my weight, you know. I'll just stand there and light them up! Two, freak. I must digress because I am moving on to one of my favorite shows, which is if you don't know. Masters of the Universe, but we're going to do Transformations, and let's see. Uh, up first is she -Ra. All blonde white woman. That's what they did. That's what they did to us. That's what they did to us. Yes, that's what they did to us. That's what they did to us. And now we're going to Hit him with another one. Hit him with another one. Hit him with the original. Yeah, we're going to hit him with the originals. And oldie but goodie. And the masters of the universe. I am Adam. Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. I am Adora, He-Man's twin sister and defender of the Crystal Castle. This is Spirit, my beloved steed. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! Cringer became the mighty Battle Cat, and I became He-Man. The most powerful man in the universe. Fabulous secrets were revealed to me the day I held aloft my sword and said, For the honor of Grayskull! A few others share this secret. Among them are Light Hope, Madame Raz, and Cowl. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man at Arms, and Orko. Together we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. We and my friends of the Great Rebellion strive to free Etheria from the evil forces of Horda!
What would you do if you were your like, teammate? We have two separate shades for the Lord. My sword. Of course, the sword of power. He man, catch! By the power of Grey Skull. I get you. By the power of Grey Skull. For the honor of Grey Skull. I think She-Ra and He-Man could be of more help with a mist of endless sleep. I agree, sis. For the honor of Greyskull! For the power of Greyskull! Isn't it? Point my fingers, dear oh dear. Make those swords reappear. <laughs> Good work, Orko. Just in time. Come, Adam. We have work to do. For the honor of Grayskull.
spaceship. The Horde shot down a spaceship. Sounds like my vacation's over. Well, I'm afraid so, my brother. For the honor of Grayskull! By the power of Grayskull! That's a long year to show. What's wrong? You sound concerned. Sweet Bee needs help, Adam. From her story, I think that Skeletor and some of his evil crew have captured her people's spacecraft. It's a big job, Adam, and we could sure use He-Man's help. Do you think he can help? He'll be right there, Shira. By the power of Grayskull! <laughs> Do me? Not this time, Cringer. This is a job in space, so I'd better do it without Battle Cat. Boy, what a shame! Let the power return! Here is the last one. You judge which one you think is the better one. By the power of Grayskull. <laughs> 